practice three, write the equation of a linear function from its graph using the slope point equation of a line. Okay, so in order to use this equation, we're going to need to know the slope and a point on the line. So in order to calculate the slope, I'm going to need to choose two points. So I'm going to choose this point here, and I know that its coordinates are 1 and 4. And I'm also going to choose this point down here, and I know its coordinates are negative 2 and negative 1. Okay, and I'm going to calculate my slope. Drawing a right triangle. My run is 3, my rise is 5, so I know that the slope of that line is 5 over 3. Okay, I have to choose a point, so I'm going to choose 1, 4, okay, and I'm going to say that that's the point that I'm going to use for my uh, x1 and my y1. So this is x1 in my equation, this is going to be my y1. So I'm going to write y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. And I'm going to replace the y1 with 4. I'm going to write the slope as 5 thirds. Replace m with 5 thirds. And I'm going to replace x1 with 1. And that gives me the equation of that line. Now, not every one of you will have chosen the point 1, 4. Some of you will have chosen this point down here to use as your main point, the point negative 2 and negative 1. So if I do the same thing again, so I do the slope of 5 thirds and the point this time, uh, negative 2 and negative 1, and I'm going to write and then I'm going to replace the y1 in this case with negative 2, or pardon me, negative 1, and I'm going to replace the m with 5 thirds, and I'm going to replace the x1 with negative 2. Okay, and I'm going to work it there and work it there. Okay, so now I've got to simplify. I'm going to say this side is going to be y plus 1 is equal to 5 thirds x plus 2. So um, both of those equations do describe that line. Um, the reason they look different is because you started with different points, different known points. Um, it can be shown if you were to put both of those lines into slope-intercept form, you would see that those two lines are equivalent and they do describe that line. Um, when you uh, get to class tomorrow, uh, you might uh, ask either Mr. Bear or myself to uh, show you how that's done, okay? Um, good. Uh, yeah, we'll go on to the next example. And this is the last example. It's example four. And in this example, we're, we're asked to write an equation of a line that passes through the point R with coordinates 1 and negative 1 and is A, parallel to Y is equal to 2 thirds X minus 5. And in, another, in, in, in part B, we're asked to write um, the same, uh, write an equation that is going to be perpendicular to Y is equal to 2 thirds X minus 5 and passing through the point 1 and minus 1. So our solution is going to be, first of all, we're going to compare y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5 with the slope-intercept form of the line y is equal to mx plus b, because that equation is in slope-intercept form. And from that comparison, we're going to realize that the slope of y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5 is 2 thirds. Okay, so what we're going to do is recognize that these two match up. That means that m is 2 thirds. Um, any line parallel to 2 thirds x minus 5 must also have a slope of 2 thirds. If two lines are parallel, they have the same slope. We must write an equation of a line that passes through 1 and negative 1 with slope equal to 2 thirds. So now we have a point and a slope, so we're going to use y minus y1 is equal to m, m times x minus x1. Replace the m with 2 thirds, 
replace the x1 with negative, or pardon me, positive 1, and replace the y1 with negative 1. Okay, so we'll do that, and we have y subtract negative 1 is equal to 2 thirds x subtract 1. And simplifying, we get y plus 1 is equal to 2 thirds x minus 1. So this gives us an equation of a line that passes through the point 1 minus 1 and is parallel to the line 2 thirds x minus 1. And that's what we've been asked to do. Um, in part b, we're asked to uh, write a line that is perpendicular to 2 thirds x minus 5 and that passes through the point uh, 1 and minus 1. So any line perpendicular to 2 thirds x minus 5 must have a slope that is a, and we've got a long space there, so we know we're writing out a long word, or the words, and that word, those words are negative reciprocal. Okay? That, uh, so any line perpendicular to, two, to y is equal to 2 thirds x minus 5 might, must have a slope that is a negative reciprocal of 2 thirds slope of 2 thirds x minus 5. The negative reciprocal of 2 thirds is going to be 3 over 2 and since 2 thirds is positive we make this one negative. So the negative reciprocal of 2 thirds is negative 3 halves. All right. Use, since we know a point and we have the slope, we're going to have to use the slope point form of the line. So we're going to use this one again. And we're going to replace m with negative 3 halves, x1 with 1, and y1 with negative 1. Okay, and so when we come to write our equation, we'll have y subtract negative 1 is equal to negative 3 halves, x minus 1, and we'll simplify that to y plus 1 is equal to negative 3 halves, x minus 1. Okay, there's a practice question for you guys to do here. Okay, so pause the video for a minute, try the practice question, and when you come back, uh, uh, I'll do the answer, okay? Okay, practice question four. Um, write an equation of a line that passes through the point S equal to 2 and negative 3, and is parallel to the line y is equal to 3x plus 5. And in part b, we're asked to do the same thing, only we're to have a line that passes through 2 and negative 3, but it's perpendicular to the line y is equal to 3x plus 5. So um, y is equal to 3x plus 5. If we compare it to the line, to the equation rather, y is equal to mx plus b, that's the slope intercept equation, we'll identify that our slope from our comparison, we'll see that our slope is equal to 3. So in part a, we have a point and we know a slope. So we're going to use y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. And we're going to have an m equal to 3, an x1 equal to 2, and a y1 equal to negative 3. So we'll go and we'll replace um, those letters with the numbers, and we'll have y minus negative 3 is equal to 3x minus 2. And uh, then we will simplify and we'll get y plus 3 is equal to 3 times x minus 2. Okay, and so that'll be the equation of a line that is parallel to 3x plus 5 and passes through the point 2 and negative 3. Part b, we have to write a perpendicular line. 
So if our original line has a slope of 3, then the line that's perpendicular to it, and this is a symbol for perpendicular, is going to have a slope equal to negative 1 over 3. Okay? So I'm going to go here, write down my equation, y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. I'm going to put my slope that I'm going to substitute in is going to have a value of negative one-third. My x1 is still equal to 2, and my y1 is, is equal to negative 3. So I'm going to go in and I'll write y minus negative 3 is equal to negative one-third x minus 2. Okay, so. um, so I now simplify y plus 3 is equal to negative 1 third x minus 2. And that is the equation of a line that has a slope, or uh, that is the equation of a line that's perpendicular to the line y is equal to 3x plus 5 and go, passes through the point 2, 3. And I think that's the end of the lesson. The last slide I have up here is just um, a little summary of the point-slope form. Uh, it shows you um, how, given a slope of negative 1 and a point equal to 3 and negative 2, how you would uh, use that equation y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1 to write the equation of the line. So again, just a handy little slide for you to reference uh, when you're doing your homework and stuff, okay? All right, so we will see you in class tomorrow. We'll be working on 6.4 slope point or point slope form of a line. And, um, and uh, well, if you have any questions about the video, um, you can speak to either Mr. Ubera or myself. And uh, thanks for doing your homework, guys. This is the end of the video.